This video is to demonstrate how to do programming tests on lab computers in my class in IPC in uh, IPC 144, OP244, or OP345. Now, um, the very first thing that you do on your computers when you log in on your computers, you start Seneca My Apps. In Seneca My Apps, you log in. and uh, search for apps. In search for apps you type notepad and it brings up notepad++. You click on launch and notepad++ is going to start running. Keep that notepad++ on, on the side and close the browser. Remember that in the test that you are doing you're allowed to have only two applications open. One is Notepad++, the other one is Microsoft Edge. Anything other than these two will be automatically closed shortly after you start the application, uh, shortly after you start the test. So if you by mistake start your test in a Firefox browser or in a Chrome browser, your test is going to be closed prematurely and you're going to lose your chance to do the test. Make sure to start only with Notepad++. So you start Notepad++, you log into your uh, subject. So I'm going to log in, uh, just an example, I'm going to log in into uh, OP244ZAA. So I'm going to go to Final Test and in here, oh, I have to go as uh, Student Preview. So let me go to Student Preview so you see what else, uh, you will see exactly the same thing that I see. There we go. So um, I'm going to go to Final Test and I'm going to uh, open up the practice for Final Assessment. And I'm going to start the attempt. When the attempt starts, I'll read the question very carefully. One important thing that I forgot to mention is that when you start your Notepad++, you immediately save your file as some name with extension CPP. That's the most important thing. So extensions that gives you syntax highlighting, perfect indentation, and uh, uh, some intelligence that gives you assistance in writing code. Then read the code properly. Uh, as you see over here, I'm saying that assuming the display method and default constructor and one argument constructor in class are already implemented and work perfectly. So it means everything that you see over here is already implemented. You do not need to implement these things. Do not write extra code. That's going to cost you. Don't do that. Um, just answer the question and what the question needs. I'm going to copy this because it's been given to me and I'm supposed to base it on that and I'm going to paste it in my answer. Then I'm going to come back over here and read what else needs to be done. Now it says complete the class and implement the rule of three so the class can be copied safely and prohibit assignment. So rule of three is copy constructor, copy assignment and destructor. The easiest thing to start with is the destructor. So I'm just going to write the destructor right over here. So I'm going to go virtual. Uh, container. And in here, I'm going to say delete M content. There you go. The destructor is done. Now that it's done, immediately I will copy this and paste it into the answer. But I will click on the three dots and I will select the code snippet. This is extremely important that you paste it into the code snippet. So I'm going to click on code snippet and paste it right in that one. There we go. So the answer is uh, there and I can continue with the rest. Now I want to do uh, um, prevention of uh, copy assignment. So in here I'm going to go void operator assignment const container reference and I'm going to set that one to delete. There we go. So now that I've done that, I'll that's the only thing that I added. I'm just going to copy that and paste it where it needs to go. There we go. So that is added too. Then I'll go to next one and I continue like that. So 
little by little at it and don't wait for it to grow and get big and uh, um, uh, a problem is that if you let it go like that and the time ends it's going to automatically submit and you're going to lose lots of mark the best thing to do is that as soon as you get to a part that you see it is ready to be pasted copy and paste it back into the uh, the test um, as you are completing your your um, your answer so for example if I want to overload the the um, uh, O stream over here I'm gonna say over here uh, overload the insertion operator for O stream I'll go O stream operator insertion O stream OSTR and in here I'm gonna say const container reference and in here I'm gonna call it C and because I assume that display is already written for me I will just call it I'm gonna say return C dot uh, display and I pass the OS stream to it and I'm gonna close it there you go now if you don't know where to put what and you think it's difficult to copy it piece by piece you can simply do a control A and copy it and then come back over here select everything and paste it you can do that too uh, anyways practice on this and see which one is the best uh, let's say I answered all the questions and after I'm done I'm just gonna click submit and I am done okay so important stuff that you need to know so number one the very first thing that you need to do you open my apps so let me just bring it over here to tell you the steps to make sure you are not uh, you don't forget so first open my apps run notepad plus plus number two oh uh, and then and then uh, two close the browser number three open Microsoft Edge actually what I can do after running notepad plus plus I'll put a second step to make it quicker and easier I'm gonna say save the file with CPP dot cpp extension to get c++ help okay then number three you close the browser number four you open Microsoft Edge and log in to the subject okay five start the test and implement the answers in notepad plus plus after each stage copy and paste the answer into the test to make sure marks are not lost in case of automatic submission these are very important so please number one open my apps run notepad plus plus save the file with the dot x cpp extension close the browser then open microsoft edge lock into the subject start the test implement the answers in notepad plus plus after each stage copy and paste the answer into the test to make sure no make sure marks are not lost in case of automatic submission all right that's it thank you very much and see you in the test